like to have a chance to speak briefly on this <coughs> very comprehensive motion on carers before us, and, and thanks to the Labour Party for bringing it uh, uh, forward. Uh, I remember, of course, when I was spokesman for the, the party uh, some years ago, uh, I published uh, the, the uh, party's carer strategy, which at that time we called Caring for Our Carers, uh, which, which was uh, you know, a, a, an important initiative, I think, at that stage. But the motion before us today, of course, highlights the duties of Ireland uh, under both the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability and the Con Convention on the Rights of the Child to ensure that parents and carers caregivers for children and adults with disabilities are given assistance, including assistance with disability related expenses. Um, and earlier today, of course, Family Carers Ireland, they launched the pre-budget submission for Budget 2020, and as the Minister knows, the representative spoke of the, their anger and disappointment among many carers at the moment. They said the morale is very low because what they feel is the lack of support, especially in relation to home care, uh, uh, home help or, or respite. Uh, and of course, they're asking in particular that the carers allowance means test would be reformed, the income disregard be increased to 450 euros for, uh, for a single person and 900 euros for a couple. Um, uh, and in fact, they've highlighted that, that there's been no change in the, in the disregard since 2008, over the last decade, more than a decade. And they asked for the allowable deductions to be extended for income to be assessed on, on its net value. And family carers are, and of course, are also asking for the capital disregard to be increased to uh, €50,000 for carers allowance to be exempt from income tax and for carer payments to be excluded from the financial assessment of the working family uh, payment. Uh, they also think the 15 hours per, per week cap on worker study time is too little um, and it should be increased to at least 18 and a half hours. Um, uh, of course, uh, many of these uh, uh, requests and asks are, are included in this very comprehensive uh, motion uh, which Deputy Penrose has brought before us. And in addition to above, I note the, the, the Labour motion also uh, asks us to conduct a study on the cost of caring and uh, again one of the things I think we've advocated over the years is that there, there, there should be a, a cost uh, a care, uh, of caring um, allowance as well um, and of course uh, the, the other major reforms that were, were listed um, are included in the motion before us uh, in particular uh, obviously of importance is providing a community and voluntary uh, organisation with increased funding so that people in every ac location have access to adequate services um, and also of course replacing monthly mobility and motorised transport grant and increasing funding to the, um, uh, to the uh, housing adaptation grant and also to extend the GB visit card to carers in receipt of the carer support grant. Um, of course, Minister, we, we've all been cared for. Uh, we, 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 um, we will be carers. Uh, we've all had the experience at one time or another of, of, of caring. Uh, but there is something like 355,000 full-time carers in Ireland, uh, more than 13,000 of, of, of whom are under 25 years of age, uh, which one, one of the most remarkable statistics, and the average number of hours per week that a carer spends caring, conservatively estimated at 45 um, hours a week, but uh, only around one-fifth receive either carer's allowance or carer's benefit, um, and uh, it's estimated that at least 35,000 more are not granted a payment due to be, uh, being outside the income limits. Um, uh, so um, there clearly is a great deal, uh, a lot of work that the government needs to do in relation to properly recognising the contribution of carers. Uh, I note there was a study um, uh, carried out, I think, um, which showed um, value in informal care in Ireland uh, in, in Handley, Paul and Sheeran, um, uh, who said they estimated the value of informal care uh, in Ireland at 5.3 billion uh, euro uh, a year, which exceeds, of course, expenditure by government and home-based long-term care uh, and long-term residential facilities. So uh, it's a remarkable contribution by a cohort of our fellow citizens. And, and as I said, so many uh, of us uh, have or will have experience in this area in the future. And it is something that uh, I think uh, you know, the, the Labour motion in a very timely way uh, uh, you know, brings to our attention again, particularly when we're making decisions decisions on what may be a very difficult budget. Uh, thanks, Cam. Thank you, Deputy Brown. Now, Deputy Danny Healy-Ray. Thanks. Sir. Michelle, can call on Atlantic.